Hello there. Let's start this video with a question. Is it possible to fry an egg on the dashboard of a car using only the heat from the sun? Well, today is forecast to be the hottest day ever in the United Kingdom, so we have a unique opportunity to find out. Welcome to Cast by TV. So this is the equipment we'll use for today's experiment. We have a small frying pan that should sit reasonably well on the dashboard of the car. We also, <laughs> we also have this very cheap and flimsy spatula for poking around with the egg. And I think an egg sandwich is in order today. So I've got this piece of bread, which unfortunately has gone a little bit stale. This, of course, is a thermometer, which is currently reading just over 30 degrees Celsius. And finally, of course, we have this thing here that only yesterday got fired out the back end of a chicken. <coughs> well, I won't lie to you, it is mighty hot in here and not particularly pleasant. So let's get the egg in the pan before I start cooking myself. Right, here we go. Into the pan. Oh, big piece of shell gone in there and I've broken the egg, so we're doing well so far, but never mind. Right, let's put the shell down there. I have got a plastic cover there to protect the seat, and that's the trouble with so many modern cars. There's nowhere for your eggshell. Right, so let's pop this up here on the dashboard, like so, which is in direct sunlight. And according to the thermometer, the temperature is at least 60 degrees Celsius. In fact, it's maxed out the thermometer. And for the purpose of this experiment, we're going to assume these are oven controls. So let's say, I don't know, gas mark three for, what do you reckon? 20 minutes? We'll see how that does. I tell you what, while we're at it, let's put a second egg onto the bonnet of the car and see how that does. However, I'm not going to put the egg directly onto the paint because it will just roll straight off and it might damage the paint. So I've made this little silver tray out of foil. So let's get the egg in there. There we go. Didn't break that one. Better and better. And let's just pop a little bit of masking tape over there to stop it blowing away. Because there is a slight breeze today. And there we go. So while we're waiting for those eggs to cook, or more accurately, hopefully cook, there's something unrelated, which I've been meaning to show you for a while. So, a few weeks ago, I found myself in an old decommissioned aeroplane, which has been chopped in half. And the cockpit in particular was quite interesting, so I got my camera out and filmed a quick clip so you can have a look. Here it is now. It's very strange when you're in the cockpit of an aeroplane to look out the window <laughs> and see cars. That's not instinctively what I expect to see. This is a BAC 111, and as you can see, it's got very basic, simple controls. So I reckon we could learn to fly this in what, 10 minutes? 20 at the most. Right, so it's been about an hour. Let's see how we're getting on. And I can barely touch a handle of the frying pan that is that hot. Ouch, 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 ouch. Right. <laughs> okay, well, something has happened. We do have a little bit of white round there, although that's still wobbly. You wouldn't call it cooked. This here. Yeah, that's just crispy. The yolk there. It, well, yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm just not fancying it. Call me a fussy eater if you like, but that isn't particularly appealing to me. As for the one on the bonnet, well, I've had a look. That hasn't changed at all. No sign of cooking. I just get a funny feeling I'm not going to make it as a chef. I'm not going to give up though, so let's pop it back up there. Ow, 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 ow! God, oh, that is so hot! I will see if things improve. 
While we're waiting, let's have a quick look at this. Mrs. Car Spy TV, she's telling me I should buy new shoes just because there's this small, insignificant hole here at the front. But what she perceives to be a fault is in fact an HDVS, a hot day ventilation system. So this is keeping my foot beautifully cool on this, the hottest day ever in the United Kingdom. These will last for years. Right, it's time to reveal the finished result and indeed make the sandwich. Now, <laughs> I have had a sneaky peek and by pure coincidence, I've suddenly decided to go on a diet and become a vegan. However, Mrs. Car Spy TV will be home any minute now and there's nothing she likes more than a delicious egg sandwich. So let's make it for her. So this is the finished result in the frying pan. And I think, well, if nothing else, it sticks well. So anyway, let's get that into the sandwich because I'm sure Mrs. Car Spy TV is going to be absolutely famished when she gets home. There we go. As for the egg that was on the bonnet, that's here. And well, you could argue that it's very slightly undercooked, but you know, these things are subjective. So let's get that in there as well. Oh yes. <laughs> Come on, get down there. Lovely. Well, the oak, oak, the yolk has cooked a little bit. And now all we need to do, move that around a bit. Maybe a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of pepper. And that will be a delicious meal for when she gets home. She's so lucky. Now here at Car Spy TV, rather than mess about with eggs, we normally do how-tos for cars, tips and tricks, the odd review and test drive, various fixes. So if you haven't already subscribed, by all means do so. That will make it easier for you to keep up with what's going on here. And while you do that, I will phone Mrs. Car Spy TV and tell her that her sandwich is ready. Bye.